Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Strange Love. I'm Cami Chaos. Mr. Chaos, Dr. Normal, that guy is here as always. And tonight, Hello. We're, yeah, and tonight we're joined by our really, really super, super most specialist, special guest of all, my friend Martin. Hello. Hi, Martin. Nice to be here. He has an accent. No, Martin doesn't have an accent. We have accents. Don't y'all sound funny to yourselves when you talk? <laughs> Martin, while you're here, before I forget, is there anything that you do on the internet that you want people to go visit? Generally, no. I like to hide on the internet. Okay. So, this is Martin. Don't look at him. Obscure your eyes. You can't see him anyway. So, hmm. Sad for you. Um, Martin is not a remote guest. Martin is sitting on my couch drinking my beverages. Very tasty beverages, by the way. Thank you. And um, adjusting microphones and doing things that you get to do when you're on the show in person. So I'm going to start off the show with this. When Martin got into town and he came to visit, he came over to our house and we were going to go have lunch. And one of the first things I did was show him my sonic screwdriver and discuss the Doctor Who Museum in Cardiff. And upon discussing this, he said, oh, I've met David Tennant. I have indeed met David Tennant. At the time, I didn't ask him about it because my wee little brain said, we should save that for all the other David Tennant fans that the three people that listen to the show are all David Tennant fans. Can I ask a David Tennant question? Yes. How were his balls? (laughs) I didn't check them. All right, good. Let's hear the story of Martin meeting David Tennant so we can all just kind of go... Doomed "Ah." to be disappointed. It was actually a green room party for a completely different show, and he was in the room for about eight minutes, as far as I can tell, to just steal a beer. That's not that's not disappointing. Hi, that's David Tennant. He's come to steal our green room snacks and beverages, and then he left, and that was it. That's fantastic. What's a green green room party? I uh, don't know what a green like a, room party okay, is. Okay, green room. green room is actually I don't think any any longer green, but it's um, the hostess the hostess the hospitality room set up for a given TV show. So after right. you've done the show or been okay. to the taping, you go into the green room. It's where all the guests will sit before they come on and where they will sit where they go off. Okay, so um, why were you in the green room um, stalking Mr. Tennant? I wasn't stalking Mr. Tennant. It was for a taping for another show. Um, a couple of friends of mine down in London um, have some friends that work in television. I, it wasn't the Mitchell and Webb show, which is the last one I was there for, but it was at TV Centre for just, to, you know, you get to go and see the show for free, and going to see the show is actually very dull because they take the same take over and over and over again. So at the end of it, they bribe you with beer and sausages on sticks, which is the height of English cuisine. But apparently David Tennant was not bribed with sausages and beer right. because he had to come and steal yours. Well, just the one beer. Oh, that's lovely. I think it was a Peroni. There you go. Was yeah. it a BBC production? or um, What, the beer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it was at the BBC. It was at TV Centre, nice. which, which may not be there, in fact, anymore. I know they're selling off property in London and moving up to Manchester um, so that they get to feel more inclusive of the whole of England. <laughs> not that that's going to work. They're all going to still talk like they have plums in their mouths. So, normally on the show... Uh, Mike would say something very anti-England right now. Go ahead. I already already asked about his balls. (laughs) That wasn't anti-England. That was was about David Tennant. And his balls. That had nothing to do with England. I mean, aside from the fact that he was in England at the time and supposedly... With his balls. Not supposedly, theoretically with his balls. We assume that his balls have remained attached to the rest of him. I don't know. He's Doctor Who. Who knows? Maybe the balls are in a different dimension. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But we all know that the Time Lords are aliens. Maybe he can remove them and store them somewhere else for safekeeping. Much like he can remove his Time Lord self. Doctor maybe, Who could do anything he wants to do. Maybe he can put his testicles in a pocket watch. I didn't say testicles. I said balls. I said testicles. That would have to be a very large pocket watch or some very small testicles. Yes. I just thought I'd mention that. Yes. Or, or you know, space-time bending. Exactly. It could be like a, you know, the TARDIS ta- ta- looks really little it's on the It's the TARDIS, time and relative dimensions and mm-hmm. nuts. <laughs> Have we 
talked about Doctor Who on every single episode of Strange Love? No. No. That's sad. Could you go back in time and fix the ones that you didn't talk about if, Doctor yes, Who in? Yes, we can. We could. We have the technology. We have that magic. Oh, magic. I thought it was technology. I thought it was an 8-track. but No. Yes. Do we have an 8-track? We do have an 8-track. Wow. We have a 16-track. What? I don't know. I assume. Well, no, no, no. I mean, that's fancy pants. I mean, like, the classic 8-track. For those listeners of the Gammy Chaos podcast, this is the part where we warm up in the show. <laughs> I like the warm-up part. You want to forward into about 30 minutes in when we're really smoking. No, no. Not smoking. Drunk. Oh, yeah. Translation, when the margarita glasses are empty. And Skype is really lighting up. We're not Skyping today. We're not. And we have a person with a real accent. Live studio guest with a real live accent. Unlike all those other rat bastards that have been on the show that pretended to have one. Yes, in previous episodes I've been... Apparently though, when I actually talk on a microphone, my accent sounds fake. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I don't believe it. The reason I know... Um, Cammy is because she dated a guy back in the day who worked at the same ISP as me mm-hmm. um, here in Portland and I was given the privilege of recording the out of service message that we put up over the weekend oh how fun and we had one guy call in and uh, he was complaining about how this was back in the days of dial up internet and like I don't know maybe his phone line had got caught in his outhouse door or some such <laughs> crap and it wasn't working so he called up to abusers as is traditional at the end of it and yeah fuck you the guy with the fake English accent I think he was just awesome. cranky because his line got caught in his outhouse door and it's uh, a bitch to not have indoor plumbing Martin yeah that was me oh, okay <laughs> sorry there we I go just, I, yeah I remember <laughs> I'm hoping this isn't a family show, by the way. I've already sworn. No, no, no. Oh, geez. We yeah, use the explicit um, tag. Yeah. Jolly good. Let's say some obscenities. Hold on. Peep. Peep? Bullocks. Beep. Be- oh, you're beeping. I'm I see. Beeping is bullocks really that bad of a word over, over there? No. Bullocks isn't a swear word. What's Bullock, th- Bullock is a young cow. What's the worst profanity over in England? Aside well, you did that, ask. You I did. It's true. You didn't, That's say, you didn't say he, here are the swear words you're not allowed to say. Yeah. Okay, so aside from that, what is what is the best I don't know. English you swear see, word? English people swear so much that the whole sort of cussing thing is a little debased. So I tend to like I make up my own. Well, what if someone had their little English children here in my living room, and I could have one word that I really shouldn't say in front That's of them? Aside not from that the word, the c word. That's what? that's really it. That's hmm. the. Uh, I mean, you know. We tend to be fairly sanguine about the whole. What you do, you need to just come up with something new to shock somebody in England. Hmm. Right now, I'm I'm heavily using monkey fuckers. Monkey fuckers is a good one. I like monkey fuckers. Yeah, a lot. because nobody over there's heard that. They really enjoy that. Um, fuck. I mean, it's just such a, a general purpose word. It is. It's a good word. It's um, one of my favorites. Fuck. Fuckity. Fucker. So if you went back in time, Tory. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, what's Tory. it mean? <laughs> uh, Tories are the English equivalent of the Republicans. Republicans. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought you, it was some like fancy. You Tory bastard. I thought it was some like you know fancy goat fucker word or something. No. Okay. Well, goat fucker's good too. Goat fucker's good, but we don't really have goats in England. So, we don't have room for them. You so, have goats? Not really. We have this. Why would you use a goat when you have a sheep? You can wear it, eat it, <laughs> milk it, and then if you're in Wales, have sex with it. <laughs> oh, we're thrown down for the Welsh people. Hi, Holly. How are you? Nice. That one was especially for you, Holly. <laughs> Wales, home of the Doctor Who Museum. Uh-huh. And the sheep fucker. Where men are men and sheep are nervous. I thought that I thought was... that was New Zealand. Yeah, me too. It's pretty much anywhere where there's heavy sheep farming. Okay, that makes sense. I'll buy it. Yeah. Yeah, so the Doctor Who Museum, I didn't actually know this thing existed. Though it does make sense that it's in Cardiff. Yeah. Which I'm lying. I have no idea. There's nothing in Cardiff. Why would anything be in Cardiff? Now, this is my theory... And I could be completely wrong, but f- somehow I've come up with the knowledge that is I make things up all the time. I think that David Tennant's from Cardiff. Yeah, but the Doctor Who Museum must predate David Tennant. Well, he's only been the the, the Doctor for uh, like what nine, ten months now. Yeah, exactly. No, he's exactly. Full he's two a, seasons. Full he's two been, seasons. He's been for two years. Uh, isn't this his third? I know. But uh, this isn't like uh, that Bomb darts are illegal to manufacture in the United States of America. I have no idea what well, it's I'm not like that about. guy. What was that guy who did like 
Doctor Who for like 10, you think 12 years. Tom Baker? Tom, Tom Baker, Baker, right? Yeah. The, the, he maybe, was Doctor Who, Maybe right? Tom you Baker's know? from Cardiff. Maybe someone will tell me. Maybe someone will listen to the show and go, you stupid little girl. It's in Cardiff because... Blah, blah, doesn't, blah, blah, doesn't the research team have access to the interwebs down here? Oh, you know, good point. It's we should true. have brought a laptop it's down. <laughs> I don't bring my laptop or an down. Asus EPC. Mm. Be- are they going to pay us? The Asus EPC. EPC. Four gigabytes of SSD something, hard drive. Something, something. And yes, you can load Windows on it. Why you know, you I get so to? many Twitters about but that. But you can't type on it. Oh, you can. I can we type have a couple it. of them around the office. They're it's pretty hard. easy to type. It's really hard for me to type on them. Mr. Chaos has an EPC. He saw one. Mm-hmm. He loves it. It weighs like what? Not even two pounds. Yeah, it's like it's about just under a kilo, so about one point nine pounds. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, awesome. it's, it's really awesome. cute though. We're trying to persuade um everybody at the office to either fund having one of those or the um the Nokia eight ten. Mm. Which is even cooler and even smaller and even sexier. Wait though, there's so many more coming out. No, seriously? Yeah. But it really does make things a lot easier. Nokia. Mm-hmm. Do you mean Nokia? No, I mean Nokia. I know you guys you mean, mean Nokia, Nokia, but you say Nokia. Okay, but it's the same thing, right? N-O-K-I-A, right? Yes. Same thing. Okay. The phone company, Nokia. The Nokia. phone company that say their own name, Nokia. <laughs> this is, no, we've learned something on, you Yeah, know. and they say that, they're saying, this vodka is from Nokia. I'm they're pouring it, pouring it down this giant ice block down a really? hole they drilled in it into your face. Are they Sweden or Finland? Finland. Finland, really? Yeah. I love um, the Finnish people. And they people. actually say Nokia. Nokia, yes. And they're a, very, they're a great bunch of people. I like working with them a lot. One of the great fringe benefits of the job I'm in. Um, they sponsor our um, marketing department parties and they have this thing where mm, they bring in marketing. a big block of ice and a drill and about 80 gallons of vodka mm-hmm. and then they, they drill the ice and they pour it through the ice and then what happens is it actually splashes up into your eyes Ow. but it's okay, okay. so it's that's a, great no it's fine so the finisher over in the UK blinding splash, people yeah. blinding you English with their vodka that's Pretty beautiful much. But now, dude there's more to it because you get up the next morning after the party and you have your Fuck Red Bull you. and your boost bar <laughs> and you get in the shower and then um, you, you cleaned off and you're wandering down the street and you're like I still smell a vodka. I wonder if I <laughs> spilt it on my clothes. And you realize, no, it's in your eye socket and you don't shower the what inside the of your eye socket. What was the name of that sockets? Michael Crichton book and movie that I saw with the shit that came down from the universe and contaminated everything, right? This is what the what Finnish are doing earth are you from talking Nokia. About? The who? The what? It's just like it's like they're poisoning you. It's like... It's yeah, well, it wasn't very good vodka, but... Nokia. I don't think maybe that's poison. the first. The problem is you're dealing with people from Nokia, who's from instead another of, planet. Instead of from Nokia, from yeah. Nokia, who's from Finland, right? Uh, we yeah. know that you know. Yeah, I mean, but I the, mean, the euro may be a buck fifty over, but you know, hey, you guys got to like you know get with it. I'm still stuck on the Michael Crichton movie. You should have yeah. seen his look right now. It was like, yes, we, we need video podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm I'm kind of getting a vague. It comes down from is it like a is it kind of like the blob? Yeah, it was something like that. What was the name of that? What are you talking about? It was made in a movie. You know, it's like the crap comes down and contaminates and wipes out a town. And it was a, Michael Crichton's first. Uh, I have no way you're novel, talking I think. about. Um, uh, I'll think of it later. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back we to that particular have, issue. We should have done our research before yeah. the show. Our crack team. I should have got the laptop. You can just bring the MacBook down and sit it there. Yeah, I know. know. If I bring my laptop down, then I get I start to like you know. Well, what happens is this: I Google something, and I have the song that I sing whenever I Google something. You have a Google song? I do, and I've sung it on the show before. I think I know I've sung it on somebody else's show. I just kind of sit there, I go do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Herb Alpert. Yeah, Holly <laughs> correctly it, identified it. And I can't help myself. So literally, if I'm Googling something, I have no control over what happens with my mouth. And that comes out every single time. You know, I had, I kind of have the same thing, but it's in elevators. Mm-hmm. You can't help it in the no, elevator? I always have to make my own elevator music. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, you might recognize it. Wait. Wait. Muppet Show. Muppet Show. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Oh, the Muppet Show. And thank you for name that tune. Yeah, we'll move on from that segment. So so the reason I didn't bring the EPC down is that's actually what we use. That's our Skype platform. Oh, because we're not Skyping tonight. Mm -hmm. 
With Skype, and it works great. I awesome. Have to, I have to tell you guys, it's very funny. When we went to go get Mike's EPC, it was a big family ordeal. Wow, this ordeal. is like the Cami Chaos we, Geek Show. We went and no, it's which to, is good. It's totally the Geek Show, and I get to be geekier than him for a minute, which never happens. So we go into the store. We're looking at, and he's in love with it, and he's asking me what I think, and he won't let me touch it, even though he's asking me my opinion, and. He gets the EPC and we bring it home. But the funny thing is, is the entire time he's calling it the EEEPC. And I'm trying to convince him, there's no, three E's. it's not the EEEPC. He's like, look, there's three E's, EEEPC. And I'm like, no, honey, it's pronounced EPC, just EPC. And he wouldn't believe me and he wouldn't believe me. And I finally had to make him look it up on the internet. I think the people, the marketing people at Asus who named that PC are from Nokia, mm-hmm. from another planet. Because... What the hell is that? Three E's in a PC? Well, Jesus. You know, but if you say, if you see two E's give, give together. Give Steve Jobs a call and go, hey, Steve Jobs. Um, what would you call this? You know, give us the names that you threw out in the garbage can for your product. <laughs> City's like, well, there's the I, 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 I iPhone. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's going to no. be the, I mean, they've got to come up with some new gimmick for naming products. Like everything was the ending with ER, but drop the R. So it's like yeah. Flickr, Doppler. So oh, they would, it would have been the computer. No vowels. C-O-M-P-U-T-R. But, that, you know, that's, they, but that's been done. So now it's going to be extra random vowels yeah. in things. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> extra yeah. random vowels. Yeah. It's going to be the spurious vowel naming trend. Yeah. Hmm. I agree. Yeah. But it was not the E-E-E-P-C. And I got to be geekily victorious. That's so sad. <laughs> I'm about to lean over here and uh, give Cammy a high five for that. It's going to be a very sarcastic high five. Yeah, <laughs> Could you tell? I'm, I'm going to take it anyway. Geekily victorious. Yeah. I'm going to take it anyway. It's okay with me. <sighs> Yeah. All right, so how did we get onto... Oh, sorry, we've rewinded the conversation. We go back through... <laughs> vodka in the eye socket. <laughs> David Tennant's balls. <laughs> Hello, David Tennant. How are your balls today? I apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, if you actually lived here, you would probably be the co-host of uh, <laughs> Strange Love. Actually, it's true. We just keep uh, I would be off mic, and it's like, yeah, screw that yeah. guy. Yeah, no, we wouldn't give you a microphone anymore, honey. We'd we'd gag you. Oh, we'd get you a ball gag. Yeah. I didn't think that was this kind of show. A David Tennant it, ball gag. It, no. Oh, <laughs> no. now we know where they are. Oh, that's that's so not okay with me. <laughs> Bad touch, bad touch. <laughs> get What's, sued okay. by is this David the kind? Of, is this the kind of show where we should have established a safe word before we started recording? <laughs> it's possible. We've never established a safe should word. Should we that find a safe first. word? Hold on. Orange, orange. No, orange doesn't work. Hold on, let's think. Wait a minute. Rutabaga. Wait a minute. Rutab- the strange love safe, safe word, word for tonight is rutabaga. Rutabaga. Nice. Let's not use Thanks it. Thanks for listening. That's my drink music. I know. You can't use my drink music for safe words. Can you have drinks with rutabagas in? What Am exact- I allowed to talk after you say rutabaga? Oh, you can talk. This isn't, this is, all right. It's a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> just, just have to stop talking about Mike and his ball gags after I say rutabaga. So what exactly is rutabaga, a rutabaga? Rutabaga, rutabaga. It's a root, isn't it? I beats the hell out of me. Research department. Beats. Uh-huh. Okay. Ch-choo. We need to. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Where's the drums? They're over there. <laughs> Bam. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Good times. Good, Good times. times. So, is there anything else you want to know about England before we move on to America, where I start interviewing you guys? Oh. Okay, let's think. English things. English things. Um. Hey, we heard that there was. Okay, wait, what was that pub question? <laughs> the avoidance, the bo- boomerang avoidance <laughs> society? The what? Somewhere in England, there's a society for the something of the avoidance of boomerangs. Did another English person tell you this? A person that lives in England. It was from a, you know, the pub quizzes? Yeah. Do you do pub quizzes? Yeah. I want Nice. To, tell us about pub when, quizzes. When I come to visit, will you take me to a pub quiz? I take all my visiting guests to our pub quiz. I really need to go to a pub quiz. I'm going to have a little shout out for my favorite pub quiz. It's actually the Reliance in Leeds, Sunday night. Steve's the quiz master. You can go if you want to be humiliated by our team because we always win. Nice. Oh, my other friend? Mm-hmm. She never wins. So this other person that told you about the Boomerang Avoidance Society. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait a minute. She's Welsh, right? Well, no. 
She's she in England. She, is she lives in Holly England. And Cardiff. Yeah, I, I, we don't have the boomerang avoidance society in England. I don't think. Oh, maybe it's in Wales then. It's something, and it was from a question. But it was, it was this. The question was the phrasing was so funny. You know, which Australian, w- which Australian event invention is there? A no, I think it was the avoidance one. league created for or something, mm-hmm. and I just couldn't think of any other Australian invention. So I guess boomerang, and yeah, I was they're... right. Yeah, I don't know. You guys don't get neighbors or prisoner cell block H. I'd rather avoid those. Australian TV is much much worse than being hit in the head by a piece of wood. Oh, I believe you. Yeah. Shout out to David McMahon. <laughs> and the only the thing is, they <laughs> sorry, only, David. <laughs> they have they have like twenty four TV shows, but only seven actors. Fantastic. So trying to keep track of which actor is which role in which show can be quite challenging. So do you do you watch a lot of Australian TV? Well, I've dated a lot of girls who watched a lot of Australian TV. So. Oh, so Australian TV is like chick TV. Yeah, I've kind of sat near it. Are they all soap operas or something? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. There's Neighbours, Home and Away, um, as I believe I already mentioned, Prisoner Cell Block H. Which is that sounds like like prison porno or something. It sounds like the whole continent. It's, it's a woman's prison TV show. <laughs> oh my god, I was not off. You weren't far off. But, only, but, but that's appropriate based on a continent that was a penal colony. Exactly. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. But yes, I've watched history shows on uh, OPB about it. No, it's, about no about the colonization. Yeah, and how they shipped over. I'm about to say bad things. They shipped over all the prostitutes from England. Mm-hmm. Um, would be penal to, colonies to populate what the hell Australia because they didn't have any female criminals that were bad enough to ship over there, so they just shipped the prostitutes over. Mm-hmm. Tonight on Cami Chaos, <laughs> we rip on Australia. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. And You're the only the person UK. I know in Australia. <laughs> yeah, watch Come that. Defend Drink yourselves. wrangling. Okay, I didn't spill any. Well done. I got close, but is there okay? So I have a question. Shoot. Is there a lot of intermural rivalry between the kingdoms? You know, I mean, oh, you mean between, between Scotland, the UK, and yes. Canada, and Australia, and well, the Commonwealth. Yes, the Commonwealth. I'm sorry, I didn't Not, know the terminology. Yeah, we have the Commonwealth. And Wait, why is Canada included in that? Well, it was part of the British Empire. Um, well, the Commonwealth, there are various theories about what the Commonwealth is about. Um, my favorite one is, we're going to invade a whole bunch of countries, steal all their natural resources, starve their population, beat them to submission. And then when we finally grind them down, um, we're going to start sports competitions so we can have somebody to beat. Now, this is Canada, Australia, and Scotland, right? Well, no. The, the Commonwealth is all parts of the former empire. So there are various African countries that are in the Commonwealth, Zimbabwe. India. And- India is in the Commonwealth, yeah. Canada. Um, and we play in Pakistan, I think, is a Commonwealth country, maybe, because it was Yeah, all not part- so much anymore. Well, yeah. But, I mean, we all play at cricket. And uh, for a while we could beat them, but then they you know, finally got back on their feet, recovered from our um, imperial occupation and kicked our asses. Um, But there is quite a serious uh, sports rivalry between the two. But we also have uh, a special immigration program so young Commonwealth citizens can move to other Commonwealth countries for a year and live there and work. uh, What about specifically, though, Canada and Australia? Well, we like... And maybe Scotland. We like Canada. Canada's great. How about Australia, though? Australia, well, there's a separate so rivalry. Much. There's a separate yeah. rivalry. But a lot of Australians and a lot of New Zealanders come to yeah. work in the UK for a year uh, doing their um, overseas. But it means you all just go, oh, Australian, Kiwi, well, mass, mass. No, yeah. we kind of like them. Really? Yeah, because frankly, we need the influx of fresh blood. Really? Yeah, we went on this little island for like 2,000 years. Are they years. like the guys from Nokia and they bring like vodka? and? No, they bring... Steakhouse with them, which is Ooh. yeah, not particularly good. Yeah, no, no. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's different there, but ugh, here it's. I, I, no, yeah. you're not. You're not really missing anything. It's no. about the same. I've only been once when you were pregnant, and it was when I was pregnant, and I was very ill when I was pregnant, and it's the only restaurant that I threw up in in the entire time I was pregnant. <laughs> Actually, in the restaurant. In, well, in the bathroom. I, I was going to say, if you could have managed to do it at the table, that would have been the best review they'd ever got. <laughs> Probably. Now, now, isn't it true, Martin, that when you meet a woman, you know, it, it, in order to form a lasting friendship with her, doesn't she have to vomit on or around you? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's necessarily a universal rule. With me, it's turned into... Do we need the safe word? No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's, 
it has been a sort of recurring theme, hasn't it? A little bit. Yeah, that stains never come out of my shoes. Do you still have those shoes? Oh, yeah. I kept them as a memento. Oh, that's so sweet. We should tell the story. What? You folded over my arm like a newspaper, me carrying you out while you're hurling at me. That's a short story. You puked yeah. on my shoes. I was And drunk. I stayed your friend. I was drunk. I vomited on his blue suede shoes. Yeah, uh, they were cute shoes. They I really nice liked those shoes. shoes. Yeah. I've never known anyone who actually had. I mean, I've heard, you know, Elvis singing blue suede shoes. Right. I've never actually seen blue suede shoes. Yeah, I've always been, you know, subject to some strange fashion choices. Like the these are actually my blue suede shoes. Well, you know, the ironic part is that you're colorblind. I am. That's the other <laughs> thing. Well, you have to have one thing of color. Yeah. Like right now I'm wearing black, white, black, white, black, white. Oh, blue. There we go. Just so it looks like I'm actually. You've got, yeah, no, you no, don't no. have any blue on. What color are my jeans then? They're they're gray, honey. Oh, crap. <laughs> gray jeans. That's so funny. Wait, there's some red there on my Goonies red. t-shirt. There's red on your Goonies t-shirt. It's true. Yes. But yeah, I'm colorblind. Colorful. It's uh, It makes... It used to make dressing a challenge, which is yeah. why the blue suede shoes. Wow. I was impressed that you just had them. Yeah. You can't wear them anymore. No. The smell came out eventually. That's good. I'm hoping the same thing happens with the car. Yeah, but it's a rental, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is... Yeah, she's a very lovely guest at my birthday party. So um, we, we all know I'm a very bad influence. I'm the bad idea fairy. Let's not make it so... But I guess she hadn't been she hadn't been given the full briefing by my friend Terry, who was the one who invited her to the birthday party about not trying to drink as long as I was drinking. And I think it was the last tequila shot that did it. Oh, oh. those last tequila shot is yeah. always the But I was foolish. I offered her and her friends a ride home and I was dropping her off last and you know, I really can't say this. This is going to embarrass her. You know what? I, I really don't hold any malice for this. But anyway, she puked on my head. <laughs> While I was driving, oh, good people! Yeah, awesome stuff. So, Seriously, though, but I based mean, on based on previous form, that means we're going to be friends for life. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's kind of like that scene in uh, from uh, that Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, you're thinking of Pulp Fiction? Where Pulp he Fiction, the right? Guy. Yeah. 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 Oh man, there's but brains puke. all over the place. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh. You're walking around with a little puke in your hair. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh man, there's tiki fruit all over the place, and there was a tiki bar as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Oh. She yeah. had blue tiki chunks all over the back of the Mustang. But and she's in good brown. company. Something brown too, though, because it was on the seat. Yeah, belt. okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll finish cleaning that. Tomorrow. But it's all good company because Cammy Chaos. Because I exactly. grew up on shoes when I was. And Joy, my ex girlfriend. Uh-huh. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. I love Joy. Yeah, we love Joy. Yeah. Joy is I'm going to say this right now, and if any of your other ex girlfriends ever happen to hear this, I don't care. I never liked any of Martin's girlfriends. None of them that I can remember. But I love Joy. <laughs> Joy, Joy is great. Sweet Joy is and, a class and of And if own. for some reason you dated Martin and I don't know you, and you're not a horrible person, I'm sorry. I have actually dated some non-horrible people. I believe you, but Joy. I, I don't think I've known them. Yeah, fair enough. But Joy is She was Joy. nice. Joy is made Joy. of win and cheese it. Yeah. yeah. It's quite possible. For those of it. you listening to Cami Chaos right now, this is the time to go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're looking for a drink to go get... You can drink what we're drinking this evening. Tonight's drink, the Tidy Bowl Margarita. Fill your blender with ice. Add one quarter cup lime juice, one quarter cup simple syrup, one quarter cup blue carousel, and one quarter cup tequila. If it's not full to the top, add more tequila and lime juice and then blend. It's Watch out for the brain freezer. Oh, yeah. When it when you first drink it, you got to be really careful. Once it starts to get melty, you have no brain freeze issues, but at the beginning. Mm. Sorry, Martin. I mean, you know, rolling around on the floor squealing <laughs> isn't very sophisticated <laughs> behavior at a cocktail party, so. No. Squealing like a pig. Squeal like, like a pig, pig. boy. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I watched a Burt Reynolds movie last night. Oh, yeah, fuzz. Oh, I went up to Hulu. And look through all their little movies. I have to make a Twitter objection really quickly. Last night, I Twittered that I realized that Hulu had feature films. And then I went and told Mr. Chaos slash Dr. Normal slash Mike <coughs> that they had feature films. And then he went and Twittered that he found feature films on Hulu. Okay, yeah, there's <laughs> a little bit of editorial <laughs> license there, isn't there? 
And if it hadn't been so late, and if I hadn't already said goodnight to Twitter, because I do that. Yeah. So anyway, I'm the one that told him. And... Burt Reynolds, yeah. Raquel Welch, and a young Tom Skerritt in Fuzz. 1970s, I love Tom Skerritt. 90s. Hey, Tom was great. Does Tom Skerritt still Especially when he was in the sleeping movies? bag. Hmm. You, know, you know what one of my favorite Tom Skerritt roles is? And this is really geeky. Alien. Oh, no, that's was awesome. I was afraid stuff. you were going to say something really And they crazy. cut out his great scene. They cut out that you know there's a scene. That, oh, yeah. Because Ripley finds Captain, what what was his name? Do you guys remember? Uh, I, I yeah, remember I, his, I don't remember. I can't remember his name, but he was the captain of the ship, of mm-hmm. the Nostromo. And he actually, Ripley actually, in the novel, and they actually threw it on the, because Dan O'Bannon wrote it in the novel, mm-hmm. he was actually in the cocoon yeah. and getting ready and she yeah. says and he he just wakes up and says Ripley kill me mm-hmm. kill me didn't that, that was not in the film but it did make it into a director's cut didn't it I've never seen it in a director's cut I'd love to see that I have seen I have seen that clip I'm not sure really? if I saw it as a stand maybe I'm in a director's cut but it's a, yeah it's a great clip yeah maybe I'd I don't know I, you know I'm I'm all a fan of the, the the sort of obscured plot development. So yeah. leaving stuff off camera and letting it leaving it to imagination, I think can be fun. Yeah. But that really was. I mean, it's it's a great character and he's greatly underused in the movie. Oh so yeah, maybe but he was great in that role. I mean, loved I loved loved him that you know because he was just like kind of this Tom Skerritt. Great. And Tom Skerritt should get basically any role he wants, including yeah. Batman and SpongeBob SquarePants. There you go. How cool would SpongeBob SquarePants be if he was played by Tom Skerritt? I think there SpongeBob would be really cool played by Tom Skerritt. But uh, I, I don't know, Patrick. Um, I've got to object to the Batman yeah, Patrick. Thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, I like the new Batman. Maybe we should go. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know, Patrick. Okay, that, Maybe we should that's go enough. to... Yeah, um, yeah, it's over. You've overdone that <laughs> To now. the Krusty Krab, Patrick. <laughs> You've overdone that Ladies now. and gentlemen, I think that was an awesome Tom, Tom Scarrett. <laughs> yeah. That I was fairly reasonable. that off. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, that was, my, that was like a Batman imitation. It no, was no, no, not no. That a was a very... No. No, you, you, you. Wait, you were thinking the Michael Keaton Batman there or Christian Bale? I was thinking he was trying to do the... Uh, no, 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 Christian Tom Scarrett. No, you didn't sound like Tom Scarrett. A late, later Tom Scarrett, kind of with the, like, the pauses and stuff. No. No, it was like William Shatner meets <laughs> Tom Skerritt because of all the pauses. Defend me here, please. That was a pretty good Tom Skerritt, right? He doesn't pause nearly that much. Um, my memories of Tom Skerritt are not actually clear enough to give you a judgment okay. either way. No, oh, he's playing the f- okay. Ha, ha, yeah, ha. studiously <laughs> neutral. Don't, don't mess with the host. <laughs> <laughs> I don't win it's the and Cammy still. Chaos Strange Love Show. I win, even <laughs> though I don't win. She's got the booze jug near her man. She wins. Exactly, man. Yeah. She's the gatekeeper. So that you asked me what my impression was going to be tonight. I was kind of oh, do you do an impression every night? No. Well, no. Okay. I don't understand. I didn't ask you what your impression was going to be. Oh, you said accent. Oh, accent. Oh, that's no. right. Accent, because we're accent, all supposed accent, to talk with accent. I was supposed to talk accent. like this. Maybe I should start talking like this for the rest of the show. Only if I get to talk like this. No, I'm no. done. No. I'm all done. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, I won't talk with an accent then, because uh, yeah, no, I don't like it when you do that. So I have, a, I have, I have something I need to bring up that's kind of been bothering me for a few years. We have, when you say life is like a box of chocolates, is that <laughs> phrase "life is like a shit sandwich"? Have you heard that phrase? The no. more bread you have, the less shit you have to eat. No, I've never what? heard that before. You never heard that phrase? Maybe that's an English phrase. Is that, so is that life's what's been like a shit you? sandwich? The more bread you have, the less shit you have to eat. Bread uh-huh. being money, but that's not true. No, it's not. Because there's exactly the same amount of shit in a shit sandwich. Even if there's like 82 slices of bread above, there's the same amount of shit. You just get, you know, Correct. more bread. What? The? Exactly. Go see a movie or something. Jesus, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Take that, a Prozac or something. You know, that's what we is do Is that here. what's been bothering you for a couple of years? <laughs> well, pretty much since I heard it. It would guess, bother me too. I guess I was like 10. It, that's not a couple of years. <laughs> All right. Well, that's when we start people on Prozac here. It's, a, U- it's a couple, US. three. Okay. Oh, you know, I, d- I don't feel like life is like a shit sandwich. I just thought that metaphor was kind of shitty. It is a shitty <laughs> metaphor. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah, but it gets reused. Everybody, it's like, you know. I think it gets reused in England. I've never heard that. It's one of those things that, you know, it gets mutated and, and it's all over the place. But for no reason, like, I could care less. Like, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, could you? That's could you fine. Try? Please, uh, do try and care less. Instead of, I couldn't care less. <laughs> yeah. Or irregardless, which means the opposite of regardless. People say irregardless. Oh yeah, that's a that's a great one. Who yeah. says that? Everybody that I want to punch. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh! I want to punch them too. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, fact, let's go. go and, yeah. What we should I, do is go out to a bar now and wait for somebody to say it because they will. Really? And then we can stab them in the face. I don't want to stab them. Can I kick them in the balls? That works too. And may I? Unless they're a time lord, in which case you have to yeah. kick them in the watch. Exactly. And in the UK people don't carry guns, correct? No, we don't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe that's why you guys have many fights. That's exactly why we have so many fights. The old chestnut about an armed society being a polite society, mm-hmm. totally yeah, true. It Not is just totally, it's a better society, but it's much politer. Mm-hmm. We beat the crap out of each other all the time. That's nice. Actually, when you study the great, you know, the Western frontier, mm-hmm. that theme runs through the Western frontier because pretty much every person you would encounter back in the old days in Oregon territory or whatever was packing. So mm-hmm. you're pretty much like, nice Hi, everyone. neighbor. Yeah. yeah. How are you, neighbor? <laughs> you know, it's pretty much is this your property? Why, yes, it is. Good then, you know, yeah. can I pass through? And they'd be like, why, well, sure, neighbor. You know, I mean, it was pretty much that's how people operated back then. So right? now yeah. we're moving on to American stuff. I just want to make sure we don't have any other English questions because Martin said he had American questions he had to ask, although he's lived in the States for long enough that he shouldn't get to have American questions. Okay. He should be living but he can. here. You should be Doing living. Doing our podcast weekly. Okay. So, no, what, do we have any other English questions for Martin? I have none. Okay. American questions, Martin? Why can't you guys make pies? Well, why can't I personally make pies? No, I mean Americans. Why can't they make pies? Okay, you have pie. I can't make pie. But pie is like, this pie is nice, like apple pie and key Are you talking about a savory pie? Yeah, savory pies. I like savory. I See, I make savory pies. I don't make sweet pies. Yeah, but, uh, well, maybe you do it right then. But for me, when I'm confused, it's like a bowl with meat and then a pie crust on top. That's not a pie. No, it's not a pie. Oh, so, but people call that pie. It's a pie if it has pie crust all the way around, right? Well, it has to have pie on, pie crust underneath. Underneath. And then it's a sealed crust receptacle for yes, that's meat pie. and gravy. I but s- not that shitty sausage stuff like brown gravy. No, 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 no. I don't. Okay. But I am not your typical American consumer. Yeah, I mean, it's just... That was one of, the, one of the things that was hardest for me when I was living here was, you know, the difference in food mm-hmm. um, and pie... Pies specifically, pork pies, growlers, steak pies, steak and stilton pie, steak that's, and kidney pie. It's very sad. Cottage pie. Are you hungry? No, really. I'm kind of stuffed. Okay. I just ate like all the world sushi. No, I ate all the world sushi. Shepherd's pie. Oh, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's I pie is good. I love some shepherd's pie. Oh, I remind, I'm supposed to have made a shepherd's pie for somebody this trip. I'll have to make it for them next trip. You'll have to make it for them next trip. Yeah. It's been the first trip in a couple of years. I had mm. a lot of ground to cover. I remember. The first time you cooked dinner for me, it was bangers and mash. Oh, yeah. I was the happiest person on the entire planet. I know it's not a pie, but oh my God, it was delicious. We do do the comfort food really well. Yes. I think it was, hadn't we been to the and they gave us bangers and chips or something equally heretical? It was just stupid. Heretical. It's like, no, fuck that. This is what you do. Yeah. No, I think it was bangers and mash, but. No, they don't do bangers and mash. They do bangers and chips or bangers and salad. Oh, it was bangers and salad. I could. That's right. I wanted bangers and mash because you told it. me all about the bangers and mash, and I couldn't get it, and I had to suffer through bangers and salad. And those it, people are messed up. And, ridiculous. Uh, and and by messed up, I mean I wouldn't eat there if they paid me. Yeah, I wouldn't eat there either. Uh, did we mention the name of this place that we wouldn't eat? I think you did. Are we allowed to mention the name of this place? Uh, that I we don't wouldn't care. Eat? All right. It's actually very. Very authentic English pub, as in that the food is cold and crap and the service is awful. Yes, and they have a dartboard. They do have a dartboard. That part's <laughs> nice. I like the dartboard. I like the little grocery store next door. I like the beer selection. The beer selection's great. And they have hard cider. I always like that. I don't drink beer, and they always had good hard cider there. Right, Strongbow or whatever. But yeah, the whole English food thing. Chips are not prepared by taking outside and being dumped in a vat of engine oil left <laughs> until they turn brown and just flopped onto your plate. That's not the traditional method of preparing English French fries. And that's good to know. I like the English French fries. If you get well, so many nationalities in ha- I have to. I have to specify chips versus French fries because I know you guys get confused by that. Yes, we have very small brains. But except you call fish and chips fish and chips. <laughs> yes, we do. We call fish and chips because we, we like to fancy ourselves cultural. Right, but then don't you get surprised when it doesn't show up as it's fish and some Doritos or something? Um, or do you in fact get fish plus Doritos? Well, I don't ever order fish and chips. 
Mike. Because I don't like fried fish. Do you order fish and chips when you're in the States? No. Okay. I'm trying to work out how you guys knew that the chips and fish and chips were different from the chips. Because we're else. not morons. Uh, I've been okay. to London and I've had fish and chips. Yeah, but, you know, the general American population, when you say fish and chips, aren't they expecting like a haddock and some Doritos? Well, it depends. Because yes. often on the menu, though, it'll specify... It'll say fish and chips, and it'll say fried whatever kind of fish we uh, have, okay. and and French fries. So, I always wonder if this happens a lot to other people, but we we cook fish in the house all the time, and it's never an issue. The other day, we cooked some halibut in the house. Stinky! It stank up the whole house. We cooked it on Monday, I think. And when you came over to visit on Wednesday, we I was still freaked out. I couldn't actually smell anything. But I could. When we came back from pizza, I could still smell the after effects of the halibut in the house. I mean, I had come home from work. It was like, the house smells like fish. Maybe you just got hypersensitive to it because you were worried about it all the time. No, we cook fish all the time. and Yeah, but I mean, just It just lingers a day or so, and yeah. then, you know, and then it's done. And then can No, it never lingers. We never have a fish smell in the yeah, house. No. Well, like for a day or something. No, you know? I don't think yeah. so. I and then you wrote that heartily. awesome post about PMS. That was an awesome post about, yeah. You know, my favorite part was that... Your husband came home and it's like, no. the house smells like fish. My favorite part was that the I next... I want to rip your balls off and give them to <laughs> David Tennant. I'm getting upset now. Okay. This is well, this is where the rutabaga. show gets interesting. Rutabaga. Right rutabaga. Right? rutabaga, rutabaga, rutabaga. Okay. Rutabaga. Okay. Can we talk about Billy Piper? Sure. Yeah, so who was Billy Piper? Billy Piper was he doesn't he doesn't watch the Rose, show. the first uh, Doctor's assistant in the new series. The blonde. Oh, see, so yeah, I haven't watched the, any of the David Tennant. Okay, no, 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 no. this is Christopher Eccleston's yeah. assistant. The first, well, she was the first. Was that the season? I did watch. That you was watched one, the yeah. season with Christopher was, Eccleston. Was she in it? Yes, yeah. Billy Piper, blonde hair. Oh, toothy, the girl, the girl. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So Billy, I know Billy's a guy's name. She's actually a teenage singer in uh, England yeah. in the nineties. Yeah, and, yeah, um, right, right, right. And so I was kind of disappointed that um, she wasn't the doctor's assistant anymore because you expect that the doctor's assistant would actually hang around with him in real life too. So when David Tennant came in, it, it would have been great if Billy Piper would come in with him. Right, and that would explain where his balls went because she has way too many teeth. Yeah. yeah, she's when, really when she, toothy. When she smiles, I swear there's like 82 teeth there. I mean, it's Jeez. not that she's not smart and cute and talented and everything. Lots but of teeth. Yeah. It's like the rich tithe the poor for their teeth and then implant them into yeah. their own jaws. Mm -hmm. It's all like an Edward Gorey thing, I think. Don't, aren't you guys on a new season? I don't know. I don't actually watch the show either. <laughs> oh, you fuckers. <laughs> My consumption of English TV is limited to Time Team, which is a show about archaeology, which shows you hey. how interesting I am. Um, it's like... And I know that there's a new, and this is upsetting to me because I believe it's Kylie Minogue is the new No, assistant. Kylie Minogue was just an assistant for Oh, one, she was just a one-off, thank Christmas God. For the Christmas special. Yeah, thank Kath God. Catherine Tate is the, where's the research department? Uh, she's got the I, research. The are, you research sit, are you sitting I, no, on the research department? I turned department? it off We don't do research on I turned the it Strange off. Love Show. No, we just make it I need to tell Everything everyone, comes out of oh, our brains. I need to tell everyone why I turned it off because every time... I was just sitting there minding my own business, trying to look something up on the internet. Someone would tweet on Twitter. I was being tweeted. It's not a joke. There's all yeah. the tweeting and tweet, tweet, tweet. It makes this noise with his little Twitter client oh, or yeah. whatever. And I want to tell you something that's actually. What's the difference between a tweet and a queeve? Oh, no queeving talk. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go on. Rutabaga. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, rutabaga. Should I like get rid of that domain? I was thinking about doing Wait, a startup called you Queeve. Have, you have the domain? Rutabaga, rutabaga, <laughs> rutabaga. You know, you he does can, not have the domain. You can turn that client off. <laughs> I don't know how to. That's not my computer. Little... And many men have. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the little X in the top right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't even look at it. I was just, you know, I'll be honest. I was on my website. And, and no there's a picture of myself up on the top of the and screen. You're like, oh, that's look, me. Look, it's Cammy. Hi, Cammy. <laughs> Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. Yeah, no, I wasn't looking at it. It was just beeping at me. Yeah, there's a picture of a killer robot on my website. Yeah, I love that picture of the killer robot, though. I do, too. It's kind of fun. Is that is that a term that's... Is that a UK term? I mean, is that something... What? That, killer robot? No, no, no. <laughs> the previous term. Queef? Queef. Yes. Um, it's not unknown in English language. It's not unknown. Yeah, I don't think we say queef, though. It's queef. Queef. Yeah. Yeah, we don't say queef yeah. here, either. He's... <laughs> 
<laughs> he's oh, insane. It's, it's just queer. It's just that Mike <laughs> trying to be, to, to be cool with he's the He's trying hip to class kids. it up. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to Which happens queef. every single day. <laughs> he sounds Trust so much me. better than queef. Every single day. Oh, boy. I, I always murder the hip language. He yeah. murders words and he kills all celebrities before okay. their time. We'll, Although, just give you, yeah. we'll just give you a lesson on, on the new hip speech. Okay. Okay. Please do. First of all, if it's good, it's made of win. Made Repeat of what? after me. Win. Made W-I-N. of win. win. Made of win. Yeah. If it's really good, it's made of win and cheese it. What does that mean? Just really follow good. along. Okay. If it's crap, it's made of fail. Yeah, okay, I got the fail thing. Okay, made of win is the opposite of made of fail. Oh, yeah, yeah, You win also say fail. made of lose. It's really bad. Epic fail. Epic fail. Made of I epic know fail. Mm-hmm. Or contains more. Where does this shit come from, by the it's way? gaming. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. It's oh, kind of, maybe my brother will know about it. Uh, maybe. Does he play, like, Counter-Strike or Team Fortress or any of yeah. those games where you go and shoot random strangers you've never met before? I don't think so. That's the kind of gaming culture. It's also, it shows up on the something That's the awful American form. way, by the way. Yeah, we need yeah. a troll. I think the troll plays these games. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so I got the go. epic fail and fail. So win, win is actually part of that, too? Yeah, we're made of win, That's made right. of fail. Mm. Um, All right. Contains more fail than was previously known to man. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back and watch. 100% pure fail. Burt Reynolds. There you go. Raquel Welch, 1972. Fuzz. And be Thank happy you in your delusional state. In Actually, first, I'd like to get a first, Serpico fix. You ever seen Serpico? Oh, yeah, I've seen Serpico. Freaking yeah. great movie. You know, it's going to be on Hulu. Hulu is for the win. Yep. I love That's Hulu. That's another cool hip kids. I saw somebody. Oh, Diesel Boy. I think Diesel Boy said he hated Hulu. He hated it. Why? I love Hulu. He doesn't like the commercials and the edits. Which oh, okay. they're, they're, they're just, the movies, obviously, they were just taking the network tapes that they yeah. edited for. You know, and dumping them on there, right? You well, I'm assuming, but there's no commercials. Do they do? Do they do widescreen format, or is everything pan and scan on that? It was, it was widescreen on my. Yeah, I think I've e- seen e- 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 PC. Your e- e- PC. Squeal like a big PC. Squeal like a big boy. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Hulu. I don't care what Dear anybody Asus. else says. <laughs> Hulu's great. I watch. Oh, Deliverance oh, should be on Hulu. I watch Chuck on Hulu. Have you Chuck? seen Chuck? I've seen Chucky and Bride of Chucky. No, it's not time? a movie. No, it's a show. It's a TV show called Chuck. No. Yeah. No, I believe you. I've just not seen it. Oh, I you know. watch way too much TV. On Hulu. You know, you just need to limit your TV watching to really, really nerdy shows. Podcasts. Podcasts are good. Time Team. I'm going to pimp for Time Team. I want to see Time Team. Time Team rules. I will send what you Time it? Team DVD. Okay. So, you know Baldrick from the Blackadder TV show? No. You don't know Blackadder? Oh, you, know, you don't know Blackadder? Oh, Black yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black okay. Adder, Black okay. No, I do okay. know Blackadder. You know his scummy little that, side That's clicks? What's his name? Uh, uh, Rowan. Rowan. Rowan Atkinson. Atkinson. Yeah. So, right. his assistant, played by Tony Robinson, is Baldrick. He's a stupid guy. He's like... Right. I have a plan. Does it involve a turnip? That guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he has a TV show about archaeology. Oh, cool. I mean, you basically, it's a dig. It's a three-day dig in which you have to prove or disprove an archaeological thesis. I Isn't really want to see it. a show on Discovery like this, too? Maybe. We, no, not we have uh, something mysteries or something. There, there's actually a show. It's not anything like this. this no, is like, it is. It's like they solve a mystery through archaeology. Yeah, but oh, it's not like a cool. three-day limited yeah. time thing. It's not three days. This but is it's like similar. This is like you've got to do it. Yeah, it's just kind of high yeah. pressure, and that's why the drama element is introduced. And, and scientists, and archaeologists are going, "Oh yeah, we'll get that in three days." Yeah. Yeah. Right. They're like, "Look, this is going to take us 10, 12, 14 years to sort this out, right?" Yeah. You know? But and unfortunately, they get to the end of it. It's, they're allowed to have. It's like you know what? We don't really know. We found a nice wall. Some yeah. Exactly. Fragments. Oh, I love walls. Walls are yeah. fantastic. The, the GFS survey looked kind of cool. I'm hey, excited. Look, here's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> but, I love archaeology, by the way, because you're pretty much digging through people's trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's, basically it's what just it is. old trash. Yeah, and the older the trash, the better it is. 
Yeah. Very much so. I was actually watching the Look, an episode comic books. Ooh. The episode recently about um, a second henge that was just up river from Stonehenge, made entirely of wood, and they actually recreated one of the, one of the <laughs> wood henge. Was wood this henge, the yeah. was this the pigs? It, it was, was like well, well first we had straw henge, straw henge. <laughs> yeah. and then we had wood henge, and now we have Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Very nice. I'm yeah. gonna puff and puff and exactly. blow your astronomical calendar down. Exactly. exactly. But no, seriously, stick henge or whatever the hell you want to call it. Stick, stick henge. Um, I love it. Um, not a successful hinge. But it was really cool. They actually... It's a crap hinge. Worked, they found something out that they weren't expecting. Everybody's... You know, like, all the hippies go to Stonehenge and dance mm. at Midsummer. Yeah, those they're not for measuring Midsummer. Yeah. They're for measuring Midwinter. It's only a coincidence that Stonehenge that measures Midsummer because it's a completely flat plain. All the other ones that are in, you know, yeah. asymmetrical valleys. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is where you have to defer to me and my pagan knowledge. He hasn't. Martin. I've drunk an entire pint of that blue <laughs> devil shit. <laughs> Martin, if you can hear me, pick up your glass. We were, okay. we were, we were talking about straw hinge and wood <laughs> no, and stone hinge. And now he's fucking talking about astronomical counters. What the fuck is that shit? And, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can move along. He can't hear us, can he? <laughs> <laughs> he might be able to because I told him to pick up his glass and then he did. Nice work. And you yeah. were saying? <laughs> <laughs> so all the hippies are wrong that's often well, the okay, case so, so <laughs> can we, we knew just, this a long time can we just ago, say right? hippies are wrong let's think of other things that hippies are wrong about hippies oh, oh, patchouli oh. is not an attractive smell <laughs> oh no exactly. better yet patchouli is not the alternative to bathing yep no in that sense hippies are wrong yes socks do not look good with sandals and if you're hippies, basing your calendar on Stonehenge wrong. It's wrong. Braiding your underarm hair, not a Ooh. good look. In that case, hippies are wrong. Oh, boy. Oh. Tie-dye just looks like you can't fucking do laundry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hippies, like, so wrong. They look cute on little kids, though. Everything looks cute on little kids, though. Really. So you were Tie-dye. never a hippie, right, Martin? I was never a hippie. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh, God, no. I was a mod. I was a goth. I was kind of a metalhead nice. for a while, but no, no hippiedom. Yeah. I did go to Burning Man. That kind of maybe makes me a hippie in the same, yeah. the rule of contagion. Yeah. But I didn't have sex with any hippies while I was there, so. Good. That's good. That's good. I think I think that may mean you're safe. I think hippies are cool and everything. But really? The whole not bathing oh. thing. I mean, that's where it comes into. It's like, look, you know, just just good hygiene, bathing, that's... The bottom line. I have like you, hygiene. Have you ever eaten food made of nothing but lentils? Oh, God. What's that show? My favorite show ever produced on <laughs> British television. <laughs> on Hulu. <laughs> no, it's not on You're Hulu. talking about the young ones. <laughs> the young ones. The <laughs> young <laughs> ones. Ooh. It was a great show. Talking about the young ones. With I Neil. Like a punk guy. With who wait. comes in and is like, oh, everything blows up. And Adrian. That was Adrian. Adrian, you know, Adrian, that. Adrian, Adrian. Why do they okay. always blame Adrian? Adrian Edmondson. I love that guy. Yeah, Adrian, Cambridge Neil, Mike. Mafia. And Mike, I love Mike. Mike was the guy, the ladies' man. Adrian, Neil, I Mike, Mike. And, Rick. and Rick. Yeah. Yes. Nigel Planer, Rick Mayall, Adrian Edmonton, and some fucking sharp guy I can't remember. Yeah, one of those guys um, was on Drop Dead Fred. So that would be Rick Mayall. Rick, thank you. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes, he was. Oh, was he the he was guy? The imagi- no, no, he was no. the the wimpy, non punk, non hippie. Yeah, the guy the that communist? wanted the rules. I guess he was a communist. Yeah, yeah. Kind he was kind of. There was the, the communist guy, communist, the tattletale right. whiny guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was the communist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he was. Well, they all had you know fairly extensive TV careers. He was also on. Uh, he had his own show, The New Statesman, which is about conservative politicians. Very so we. What we did we have some videos or something? I had all the, the videos. Ones. I had every and video. Actually, Emma there Thompson. was a cameo. Emma Thompson. There was also some the really ones. good bands. I'm not joking. No, I'm not joking. Of course, she was one of the. And cam- we're sitting there watching. It was like, uh, that's Emma Thompson, the great, wonderful actress, Emma award-winning Academy Award-winning actress, Cambridge Comedy Mafia. Yeah. They all went to school together. Yeah, it was just like it was freaky. It was like, and there were some other people too. There are some really great bands, and I can't think of who they were right now. Motorhead. 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 Lemmy yeah. on the Lemmy. No, but there was somebody else, too. God, I wish I... And the best story of... Bad only, Manners. If Madness. only we still had VHS. Yep. Best story of Lemmy and Motorhead is from Henry, Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins. Mm-hmm. Sitting on a plane with Lemmy flying to a concert. Mm. Yeah, Henry Rollins has a great story about that. 
I like Henry Rollins' stories. I do yes. too. I love it. But I he's not a hippie. No. No, no hippies. <laughs> no hippie there. If I had like a little tree house like the kids have, instead of no boys, mine would say no hippies. Well, there's always that. So, so the thing is, is um, uh, there's this f- sign, and actually, it appear I have two friends who have this sign, um, which is hippies use back door or something like that. I don't know what the hell it is. It's like hippies use tradesmen's entrance. I, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Somebody's Servants got it in their cube, and then uh, oh, at, wait, at, is this a multinational is this, conglomerate? Is this, a, is this a, a euphemism for hippies like anal sex? No. Okay, just checking. It's not. I, when I said that, I thought, no, that's not the right thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Side door or something. I Side think. It's like it's 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 really hippies not. like ESX. We've yeah. totally lost the hippie contingent on Strange Love. By I, way. All the hippies are like dude, clicking us off right yeah, now. Yeah, we're sorry about that, hippies. We yeah, really, we really were love there hippies you. that You're listened to people. my show. Please come back and support us with your advertising dollars exactly. and bring <laughs> us some Twinkies. <laughs> your capitalistic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, about the Twinkies, bring bring me some Twinkies. Hippies. Next show is going to be for the hippies. We're going to have a segment on how to knit your own cat litter. Exactly. <laughs> Um, that's that's Martin's next Keep show, going. not mine. That's when Martin has his own show. I think he might be a returning guest, actually. <laughs> no, I'm sure he will. Yeah. But How to make a treatment for thrush out of lentils. <laughs> <laughs> and and how going. to tie-dye your bar soap. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I was trying to help. But I was trying to figure out what else a hippie would do with soap because they don't use it because they're too easy, easy you know, with the patchouli. Stinky, yeah. But they we do love use the soap. It's just soap made out of lentils and their own toe jam. Oh, that's why they smell like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but we love the hippies on Strange Love. We really do. Yep. Kumbaya. Okay. <laughs> Kumbaya, my hippies. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Okay. No more hippie hippies. talk. Okay. I can't. It's starting to get patchouli in my. Yeah. Okay. Nasal. No, we're just gonna have one more. I don't hippie. even know what that smells like. Patchouli. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. You've walked past it before and wrinkled your nose and gone, ugh, and I've been uh, like... It smells like yeah. fail. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it Ep- smells like epic fail. Fail or epic fail? Epic fail. Epic <laughs> fail. <laughs> nice. You know, seriously, all this money that people are putting into abstinence-based education in this country, you know, ab- abstinence-based sex ed? Yeah, right, right. No, just spray the kids with patchouli. They'll never have sex with <laughs> no, each other. Because I'll never have sex with anything that smells mm. like that. Ugh, well. Okay. Oh yeah, wrong. Yeah, I've never ever had sex with anyone wearing patchouli. I've never had sex with a hippie. Neither have I. I don't wait. If you're a hippie and I've had sex with you, I apologize. <laughs> I Why don't are you remember. looking at Martin? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking, I'm I'm looking at my I'm, microphone. I've never fall, had sex with into, hippies or Martin. I fall into neither of those categories. You're a Martin. You're just not a person. No, I've had I, sex yeah, with it. I'm just not a hippie or somebody you've had sex with. I've never had sex with anyone named Martin. To, no. Okay, that doesn't narrow it down much. It gets rid of all the Martins in the yeah, world. We're a small <laughs> contingent. <laughs> you're not that small. Of, I mean, you are Who a have small you been talking to? But I've known some Martins. Who? Oh, Miss Burroughs, who's going to be on the show next week. Mm-hmm. Her husband's name is Martin, and it's been very confusing for her for me to mention that Martin is coming. And Martin, 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 Martin. And my Martin or your Martin? My Martin. And then she saw a picture of you. She's like, oh, yeah, that's not my Martin. Yeah, that clears it up usually. Oh, Have not, you seen the picture? Of I'm not married that to that guy. He's, no, the, he's I, the one that posted it on the internet. I oh, just wait, stole it. Is it my cowboy hat picture? No. It's no. Is it my long hair picture or yes. the you and me picture? No, the long. Oh, I didn't right. use the you and me picture because you're smoking in it. Yeah, and I don't do and that And you don't anymore. do that anymore. Congratulations. So. Thank you very much. Yay, Congratulations. Martin. I spent a year and three months. I'm very Congratulations. pleased. Congratulations. So I recommend, by the way, to all you smokers trying to quit, screw the gum, screw Zyban, use the fucking patch. But when it says, put it on a clean and hairless part of your body, it really means hairless. Wow. Like, no hair. Uh, I read that post. Yeah, yeah not good. <laughs> I think an adult-sized swig is in order. Yes. Let's have a moment of silence for the ice that we're about to ingest. Oh, we don't need silence. You've been listening to the Cami Chaos Show. With Cami Chaos. And some other guy. <laughs> and the guy that pushes the buttons Tonight, on the stuff. Tonight, Cami Chaos and guest is enjoying the tidy bowl 
No, honey, we're not is enjoying. We are enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> Wine and grammar don't mix. <laughs> no, they don't. I, I has chaos no grammar. <laughs> I, I can have epic grammar. Epic fail. <laughs> exactly. Mr. Chaos has epic fail. I'm always amazed um, for someone who's as grammatically challenged as, as he sometimes is, even though he's a very intelligent man. He hates I can has cheeseburger and the LOL cats. What's wrong with you? Why do you hate life? Um, Like looking in the mirror? I mean, the LOL cats look the like you in the cats. mirror? They're amazing. They're so adorable. They remind me of my you know, own speak. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna actually. Um. You know. You asked me earlier if there's anywhere that anybody should uh, check out on the internet where I exist. Lolcandidates.blogspot.com. Mm. Always funny stuff. Yeah. Is that your site? It's a little project that I uh, put. L O L candidates. Dot blogspot. Yeah. It's like lolcats, well, except it's it Republican presidential candidates. Which there's one. That's true. There you heard were, of the election. There were, the a, Democrats are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cat fight is on the Democrats yeah, side. No, this was this was done. John McCain's like la la this la. This was la, done la, a little la, la. while ago before the th- the field narrowed down so much. My favorite Republican president candidate, Tom Tancredo. Tom Tancredo. That man is crazier than a shit house yeah. rat. <laughs> well, but it's done. So here, so here's the Republicans. Hi. I'm John McCain. Vote for me. How y'all doing? Here's the Democrat. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I screwed this up. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. <laughs> I totally screwed this up. I can has political commentary. <laughs> I can let's, has let's plain English. It, it went well in rehearsal, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to start holding rehearsals. Although, if we have rehearsal, then it's not as funny. No. If we had rehearsal, we'd be drinking until 2 o'clock in the morning, which is not necessarily That's pretty much a what we thing. did with um, Sybil. So I've actually been thinking of starting up my own blog, as in a writing long-form blog. Really? Yeah. On top of my uh, Tumble blog, which I enjoy doing, and I put like photos and videos and stuff up, mainly because I'm actually terrified of it. Really? I realize that the rule I have, which if I'm scared of it, I have to do it, pertains yeah. here. So what would it be about? Uh, the daily quotidian soul-destroying grind that is my life. No, I have no idea. Travel, mostly friends. It would just be, it'd be like my blog, it'd be whatever came out. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, I don't know what it is, and I don't want to set it to be anything before I do it, because I don't know what kind of stuff I'm going to write. That's good, though. That's good. I think it's difficult to start a blog. It is. And limit yourself. Yeah, the problem is, I'm also, everybody laughs about this, but I am ridiculously shy and quite private, so it's going to be quite an exercise writing all that crap down and being honest about it. I say things on the internet that I would never, ever tell people in real life. Like what? Well, I don't generally go, I don't know, basically take anything that I write on my blog, chances are not really going to say that out loud to someone. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I just, you know, it's, it might be stuff that I'd say to Mike, it might be stuff that I'd say to you, not stuff that I would say to the general public. But on your blog, all bets off. Yeah, I'm fine. I just for some reason, I got over it the first several months and then after a while I got over it, then I realized my family read the blog and I had a brief period of oh shit and then i realized oh well they can deal with that too yeah they managed to get through it okay i guess yeah they all deal with it very well yeah the thing for i mean the difference between you and me is your relationship situation is resolved shall we say yes i either love them or i hate them and they all know it no i mean as in you oh 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 yes i am so i'm domesticated yeah that that element of life doesn't really i mean there's no potential harm in writing about it like That's everybody right. knows you're madly in love with mr chaos everybody knows mr chaos is madly in love with you yes. you can write about it end of story yes whereas you know it's a large you know people's love lives are a reasonably large part of anybody's life i'm going to be honest i'm going to be writing about that when i think about it and i never talk or write about that that's very difficult my cousin uh, has been she's a little more settled now but she was she started her blog shortly before she started dating someone and it became an obstacle for her Mm. In that way, because she was like, "Oh, what can I say? Does he know I have the blog?" Exactly, what that's the kind want? of situation you worry about getting into. Yeah, very much so. I could see that. See, I never had to. That would have been a big issue for me before so, I met Mike. I think I'm going to get around that by buying a couple of hamsters, and every post that will be about my love life will actually be about the hamsters. Oh, oh, that's lovely. 
I like that. Would you like me to remove the microphone from your face? Thank you. No, actually, I like, kind of like the way it makes me sound when I'm right up against yeah, the microphone. I know. I it's even more of the wolf Hello. sound. Hello, how are you doing? This is Gaming Chaos. And... It's a little awkward, but Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Cammy Chaos and Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cammy's my name. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of cool, Cammy Chaos. Cammy Chaos. I don't have a little sub I mean, I have no little internet name. No little cute thing on the end of your name. Exactly. Martin. What goes on? I can't think of anything for the end of Martin. 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 No, there isn't really anything that no, could, could tack it's on It's just there. Martin. There's no alliterative, like, no. little pen name that can be attached to the end of it. No. Just him. That Martin. Fella, over there. That guy. Martin. Hey, Nin- Martin. Ninja Code Monkey. Ninja Code Monkey. Why don't you just use Ninja Code? What's well, very long, though. It's long and it's kind of pretentious. Yeah, you know, we've had this problem with Mike where he tried to come up with, like, you know, Mike Chaos or Mike. It's anything you put at the end of Mike. Sounds stupid, mm-hmm. and anything long sounds. Except Mike and the mechanics. That sounds really cool. That sounds cool. I don't Hope think he can get away with that though. Brain freeze. Oh no. Oh yeah. Martin drank the margarita too fast. Oh no. Oh bad news. Oh. Here, quick, drink the water. No, no, I'm going. It's going. It's going. Oh, it's going. Okay. <sighs> Phew. Not. We don't a pleasant want, experience. We don't want Martin's brain to become an icicle. He'll just, just yeah. He's going to have to set the margarita down for a few moments, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Step away from the margarita. He's benching the margarita. So we were talking about American food earlier, as I recall. Mm-hmm. As in specifically why you guys can't make pies. Mm-hmm. So what the hell is with English muffins? Are they really English? No. Why did they call them English muffins? We have no idea. <laughs> we're like... Hmm, English muffins. It's not English. It's not a muffin. We've never seen it before. We're not going to lay any claim to it. I don't really like English muffins very much. I'm not entirely sure what they are anymore. They kind of look like bread cakes that have two bottoms and you just twist them apart. Do people put, although there's that egg dish that they put on the English muffin. That's pretty good. Egg dish? Egg Benedict? On an English muffin? Oh, yeah. Eggs Benedict with hollandaise sauce and ham and what have you. Yeah, I don't have it with ham. There's some places that make it with um, salmon or with panchata. I don't like ham. I've had it with ham. It's not a hugely moving experience, has to be said. Yeah. The place we went for lunch or lunch brunch today, Spring Waters, they, mm. they do a good uh, eggs benedict. They do one with spinach and tomatoes that uh, Mr. Chaos seems to really like. Yeah, that sounds kind of tasty. But so, no, I don't think... do. If if Americans think that English muffins come from England, I want you all to know right now that English muffins are neither muffins nor English. Exactly. Um, oh, did you, before we wrap this up, did you talk about the birthday event at the Cuban restaurant? Pambiche. Yeah. It's like, oh, so, yeah. So, it's like vaginas over here, penises over there. Martin is in town yeah. for his birthday. Sorry. We all went out to we, dinner. We need to fit those two words in for the sake of Miss Burroughs. There were eight of us. There were four penises and four vaginas. Oh, wait a minute. Let me count that. Yeah. Counting yeah. Martin. No, there were, yep. there there were, were four, four penises. You were a penis, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Four penises and four vaginas. One penis, Martin, sat at one end of the table, surrounded completely by vaginas, and all the other penises were banished to the other end of the it's table. It's his way. It was just how it worked out. I was the first one to sit down, so I made no decision whatsoever. It was and, your birthday, and the two, man. Yeah. There were two very clever, clever girls that made the beeline for the chairs on either side of Martin. Yes. I was one of them. And my friend Scarlett, the other. Mm-hmm. And we, we managed to sandwich him in, and then I, I pulled... Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, you were a filthy, filthy man, Dr. Chaos. Thank you. You're welcome. He is. It's true. Dr. Normal. Mr. Dr. Chaos. Normal, Mr. Oh, Chaos. Whatever, Mike. <laughs> Mr. Normal? Mr. Guy with no. the buttons. Mike. That's why That's why we've just stopped anyway, not calling him M- Mike. Normal PhD? <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so I'm, I am really sorry about that. I didn't mean to drop you There's in nothing the, sorry about it. It the, was your in birthday. The, in the sausage fest end of the table, it's just, you know. How the cookie crumbled. Why did you, you know, it's it your was birthday. Funny. What do you need the sausage fest for? Come on, man. It was true. It was fun. It was great. And 
Pen Beach has some really good food. Yes. And really good red beans. Yes. No argument from me on that front. With ham and bacon. What? Now, now I'm hungry again. I'm hungry too. Maybe we should say goodnight to everybody. And That's probably a good go idea. Go get a midnight snack. Midnight snack for the win. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks for listening.